Okay, Anar, today we are talking about your progress. We are specifically working on a body recomposition. And a couple of things that you just shared are you're noticing some progress, you see your quads a little bit, you see your hamstrings separating a little bit, but you're struggling with mind-muscle connection when it comes to feeling your hamstrings turn on in the deadlift. So we need to make sure we cover that. One of the other things you mentioned was the nutrition. You're like, eh, I don't really know if I'm eating too much right now, right? So talking a little bit more about making sure you're getting the carbs and fats. I stopped you. I said, hey, I hear you. I understand everything that you're saying right now. But when I show you the side-by-side -side that I have, we might change our opinion about some of this stuff, okay? So I'm just going to share my screen. Let me see if I can zoom in on, those, on these photos. Yes, okay, perfect. I'm going to share my screen. And as I'm sharing my screen, I just want your perspective. Okay. I just want your like initial reactions. Okay. I'm assuming the one on the left is when I first started. It's before. And then, yeah. And then Basically the one current. that's from today. Yeah. So obviously, definitely I put on muscle. Um, quads are we talked about like how there's like two lines coming in on top of the knee. Um, shoulders are looking good. A little bit of bicep definition there too. Um, def definitely have gained muscle. Yes. So is it like, does how does this make you feel? It makes me feel good. Yeah. I'll just say um, a part of me is like, oh my God, I want more. Um, 100%. But I know progress is slow and then also I also have not done 100% every week so there's that also but I feel good okay I'm so glad you said that want more I want more I can see it happening I want it because that's exactly where I want you to be yeah at this point we can assume like okay so the 9th to the 13th that's a month mm -hmm. and a week so this is five weeks of progress, mm -hmm. right? But this is five weeks of suboptimal progress. Yeah. This is five weeks of some weeks I'm doing my three, some weeks I'm doing two, some weeks I got one, right? Yeah. And when we think of what's required for muscle building, it is the total volume. The equation that we're trying to solve for is volume, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And the volume equation includes a couple of different pieces, but let me just like write it out right here. Okay. We have sets, we have reps, we have weight, and we have frequency. Mm -hmm. All of these things, how often? Yeah. If you do your sets, reps, and weight, where we currently have our prescription, which is I do these sets, reps, and weights three times a week, but we increase this to five times a week, we've mm -hmm. essentially nearly doubled your input when it comes to muscle building stimulus, okay? Mm -hmm. So when I say, when you say I want more, I'm like, yeah, heck yeah, you want more, because I do too. Can we increase the frequency at which you're getting this volume, okay? Yeah. Can we increase the frequency? Yeah, let's do it. Yay! I love let's it. Do it. Yay. I okay. just have to be better with planning. Um, I also saw you post about factor meals. Um, oh yeah. Today, so I'm like, maybe I need something like that. Mm, something takes the thinking out. Yeah, because, you know, like, realistically, I do, I do do a lot. Like, my life is busy, you know, like, mm -hmm. I work my life, I have a dog, I have a boyfriend now, I hey. like to go out and do things. Hey. So, I don't know. So, I just, I just need to be better with planning a little bit. But I think other than that, let's increase the frequency. Yes. Let's cover all of that. Let's talk about increasing the frequency. Let's talk about the nutrition. Let me just make sure. I'm good. Also, like between those two photos, like my hamstrings, like my leg, the back of my leg looks more straight. 
on the right picture. Here. Versus the left one, yeah. More was... tone, yeah. And I even say like, it, it appears that you have a little bit more mass, more volume in your glutes and in your just legs in general, right? So this is very easily seen from the front, like you just got more legs. Yeah, right. Sure. But yeah. I'd say from the side, it, it looks as if we have a little bit more like this is where the measurements come into play as well. Yeah. So that we can see if this is 38 inches around the glutes, like is this 39 inches around the glutes? If so, shit. Yeah. Like, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's what we want. OK, beautiful. Yes. Yeah. And then you showed me earlier this week, too, like some spread. Right. You were like, I think I see my wings coming in and I definitely can see even from the front, I think the lat spread was even a better visual from the front here. All right. So I can see yeah. this widening happening. So let's go back. Oops. Yeah. Oh. So, so let's go. No. Right. So like I can see the width coming in, which is a good problem to have. <laughs> No, 100%. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. I have right. put on like two pounds. Mm -hmm. Um, Is that okay? Like, is that, are we good with that? Like, what do you? Yes. Like? Okay, good, good. I'm good with that. And I'm good with that under these, right, principles. I'm yeah. good with that as long as you're continuing to increase your strength in the gym, your stamina is increasing, you're still sleeping great. We're eating as best we possibly can. If you think of it as right now, we're doing something along the lines of like a lean bulk, right? Just in bodybuilder terms, yeah. right? Like we're trying to put on mass. We are yeah. actively trying to add mass. So putting on a couple of pounds is A-OK, -okay, right? But I will okay. continue using the photos just for information gathering purposes. But you have obviously put on some mass. And if it's body recomposition plus some extra mass, I'm A-OK -okay with that. Okay. Let me know okay. though if you find that like my clothes don't really fit the same or things are starting to get tight. That's a different conversation we need to have. Okay. Okay. Sounds great. Perfect. Okay. So let's just talk through um the nutrition pieces. I know you said that you haven't really been logging super duper well, which is a okay. But yeah. I want us to really excuse me, hone in on this pre and post workout window. Yeah, definitely. And... I'm, definitely. I'm good about that. Pre and post workout meals now since like you have taught me, like mm -hmm. I'm trying my best to make sure I'm eating like at least 90 minutes before, Um, sometimes even like 90 minutes before and then I drive to the gym and by the time I start, it's been two hours. Um, Trying to eat more carbs before too. Yes. Um. Or if I haven't had much, I'll have like a glass of orange juice, like store-bought orange juice that's got sugar in it, like 30, 40 minutes yep. before. Um, Beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So this is taking a minute to load. I was trying to pull up your... That's okay. Beautiful. How's all this feeling? It's feeling good. Um... The gym that I'm going to doesn't have the lying leg curl. So I just okay. do the hamstring curl where you sit down and then you The curl seated back. curl, that's fine. Yeah, the seated curl. So definitely I've made like some modifications, you know, in certain things. But other than that, like it's going well. I do miss my first program exercises. Okay. Like I miss like doing squats. Um, I miss having like a full on dedicated leg day. And then, like, you know, and then just an upper body day. Um, but other than that, things are feeling good. I think I definitely now understand how to do a lat pull down because before, obviously, I've done them. And I thought I was doing them right, but I never felt them the way I feel them now. And that's yes. because I just lowered the weight a bit. And obviously, like, the videos on the app help and then some videos online also help um but that like emphasis on like rotating like your elbows a little mm -hmm. and then pulling backwards that's been helpful um yeah. the sumo squats 
I'm like, am I doing these fuckers right? Like, is this working? Um, I mean, I'm sore, but I don't, I mean, you know, I want to, I want to be more sore if that makes sense. I'm like, oh, I could have done more or I don't know. I'm looking I'm for them. Where are they? Where did I put those? That is in the middle. So the hamstrings and back workout. And then. The sumo deadlift? Yeah, the sumo deadlift. Yeah, just a wide stance deadlift. Where are you, where are you getting sore? I feel sore in like my like glutes, but mm-hmm. not so much in my hamstrings. That's okay. Okay. Um, the deadlift is definitely a glute dominant, just depending on your anatomy. Deadlifts are definitely a glute dominant exercise. Now, yeah, I definitely feel them in glutes. I also feel glutes. the leg press in glutes too, like a single leg leg press. Yes, this okay. one, the angle yeah. press. This is a glute exercise as well, right? Okay. The hamstrings are involved, but this is definitely a glute exercise, which is which makes sense when we look at the pictures. Like, mm, I'm not sure about my hamstrings, but my glutes definitely have some mass. Now, yeah. what you want to do for if you are concerned, or we can wait until our next program because this is ending in a couple of weeks anyway. Yeah, when we, we can just wait until the next one. Program an RDL. So essentially like a slight bend rather than the full extension. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yep. So an RDL gives us with that slight knee bend, puts so much emphasis. Like this is a hamstring exercise for sure the rdo yeah and i love them i, I wouldn't be RDO. able to do them i guess i can do them with easy curl bar but i wouldn't easy be able curl. to um like a long bar that's already weighted at planet fitness yeah they don't have like a, they don't have those. a free bar yeah free weight yeah too. a smith machine if you have access but i know smiths usually go first at planet fitness a smith yeah. machine is great or dumbbell RDO don't underestimate a dumbbell RDO right like you can get that full the the thing that one of the limitations of of doing a barbell RDO is that it doesn't yeah. allow you to stretch all the way down right so like even if Timmy here right like touches the ground he's still six inches from the bottom because of the plates with a dumbbell, if you stretch all the way down, which is where the stimulus happens for our mus- muscles, right? So like we have the isometric, which is just like holding, right? We have the concentric, which is bringing the motion to us or the, which would be the upper portion of the deadlift in this case, or the inset- eccentric, which is the lowering portion. I'm sure you know that already, right? For the eccentric, it is so important that we allow it to stretch. So the most important part of a dumbbell curl is not the squeeze, it's the stretch. And if you are to milk or slow down a part of a movement, it's going to be the stretch. The same thing for your lat pull down, right? So you have your lat pull down, you're up here, you want to bring this down and then resist the stretch and even dislocate your shoulders out of the lat pull down because you're stretching so much, right? That's where the muscle activation happens. Like you can milk this or work this lowering part, the concentric part as best you can, but the stretch, the eccentric is where all that magic happens. Okay, so here the barbell is actually a limitation when it comes to getting the most range of motion from an RDL, okay? Mm -hmm. The barbell stops you six inches short of touching the ground, whereas dumbbells, you only have what, like an inch to the end of your dumbbell. You can go all the way down and that stretch, that's a mega stretch on the hamstrings. Like you do a set of those, you're like, oh, I'm not going to be able to finish this, right? So when we think about highest stimulus to fatigue ratio, right, it's like, Mm -hmm. okay, some activation we want something happening but the highly stimulative exercises we add lower or further into your training block right so we trade a uh lat pull down for an assisted machine pull down to a full-blown pull-up right where you actually do have to hang and stretch to get this movement okay i see a bit of rambling but i hope it was all no no no. i understood that thank you Perfect. Okay. Um, all right. So I've added 
uh, one of your leg days back, this is the posterior chain, and this has the Smith deadlift, walking lunge, straight leg deadlift, step up, and goblet squat. It's a lot of volume on your posterior chain. If you want to keep this for a dedicated leg uh, leg day, you certainly can. Or we can switch it, because you said you missed uh, the leg days from the last program. Or we can sw switch that for the Smith machine squat, the elevated foot squat, the goblet squat, and some more Let's do yeah, let's do this one because I feel this like this one? one's really more for quads. I mean, squats work everything, right? Mm -hmm. But I definitely feel the Bulgarians in my quads. Or I want to grow my quads too, if that makes yeah. sense. So definitely think sure. I'm glute dominant, but I want to have nice quads. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so put that in. And then, beautiful, that will be everything that we need then. And then if we talk about one additional day, so four days a week. Yeah, that's good for now. And then we can talk I think, about Yeah. Again. I think this leg day should probably come when you're fresh. Okay. So in the, so the beginning. Yeah. yeah. So if we're like restructuring your schedule, yeah, mm -hmm. I just, I would erase whatever we have scheduled for the last, it's probably like two more, two more weeks or an additional week with this. Okay. Just so you can get this stimulus. Um. Yeah, I want this to come first. Okay, great. So, what are your gym days currently? All over the place, but in the app, it's um uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So maybe we can do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Legs Monday. Monday, Tuesday. Ooh. This is roulette here. Okay, fine. This goes here. Tuesday. Tuesday. Thursday. That's perfect. Thursday and Friday. Oops. Perfect. Okay. So increasing the frequency, therefore increasing the volume, getting some more stimulus, getting another stimulus on those legs, which would be great. And then in terms of the food, it sounds like your eating window around your training is going well. Mm -hmm. The other component that we just need to make sure is like solid is your sleep. Yeah. How are you sleeping lately? Sleeping okay. Um, obviously, we always want more sleep. Um, mm -hmm. Sleep like six to seven and a half hours during the week. Weekends, definitely more. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is there any way I can buy another hour of sleep from you? I would love that too. I'll try my best. I would love that okay. too. I just like, I don't know. Like, I also love watching TV at night, you know? Okay. So watching TV up until a point, right? Yeah. In general, though, lounging around doing absolutely nothing is exactly what I want you to do. If you're not sleeping, you're like being like Bentley, laying around, doing nothing, watching the clouds go by right? Mm -hmm. Trying not to stress, not getting into the news cycle and not, you know, stressing over what's happening on TikTok or fill in the blank. Just like lounge, leisure, trash TV. Yeah, I get that a lot. Perfect. That's what we want, right? Perfect. Low heart I rate, right? So it's like, if you check your heart rate, it should be like in the 60s, right? Yeah. Low, 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 doing nothing, not worried about anything. Okay. okay. I what do that for sure. Good. Steps are um the days when I'm in lab, they're really good. I think I can definitely be good about steps. I notice I'm not going on as many like hot girl walks, but like by myself. If yeah. I'm in lab, I will literally have like twelve thousand, thirteen thousand steps in one day. But if right. I'm working from home, like I said, I've been I just I don't know. I just have recently I wasn't used I mean, I guess 
we all have like different times of when we do things but recently yeah. I've been, like the cycle of watching a lot of game of thrones and just like okay. rotting the yeah. so i think that takes away from the fact that i could be doing my stops Good. but there's like five thousand eight thousand average for sure okay perfect beautiful okay let's make sure that we are all set to check in on this again in a couple of weeks okay um what are you looking like on the 27th that friday are fridays typically good for you yeah fridays are great for me yeah 27 okay. i can do honestly whenever all um, right let's do after... this uh i'm sorry go ahead no sorry go ahead what time were you gonna suggest uh, i think we did like 3 45 today right yeah let's do that again perfect that sounds good yeah i was gonna say like later after like lunch is better for sure but other than that like Fridays are very um, chill for me. Perfect. All right. 27th is yours. If you have anything that comes up in between now and then, you let me know. But in general, I like where we're going. I'm glad you like where we're going. If you continue to like where we're going, that's amazing news. Let's tighten up on the nutrition as best you can. Remember to lounge around, do a lot of nothing. And then let's add this extra day and give it your best in terms of your um intensity in terms of the mind muscle connection and we can certainly work on that too so one of the things that i want you thinking about in the background is like when can we get on the schedule to do one of these workouts together yeah okay so we'll get that sure. together too okay. right okay yay exciting yay thank you ma'am you have a wonderful weekend i'll see you soon okay bye see you later all have right a good rest see of ya weekend. all right